Okay, we're checking out Gattaca from 1997. And I'm super excited. Sci-fi with Uma Thurman. I just feel like I'm gonna like this one. Consider God's handiwork who can straighten what he hath made crooked. I not only think that we will tamper with mother nature, I think mother wants us to. Oh, hmm. Oh, the C, T, and A are all bold. Ethan Hawke. Loved him in training day. Uma Thurman. Loved her in Kill Bill. What is this? Gattaca. Cool title. Jude Law. Loved him in Sherlock. Good cast. Holy. Ernest Borgnine. Loved him in Poseidon Adventure, I want to say. We're shaving. Is it hair we're seeing? Ugh. Skin all exfoliated. Whoa. Is he putting on a fake fingertip with blood on it? Produced by Danny DeVito. Welcome to the not too distant future. Is that the blood? He is fastidious. You keep your workstation so clean, Jerome. Mm. I reviewed your flight plan. Not one error in a million keystrokes. It's right that someone like you is taking us to Titan. Titan? The moon? Titan? He's trying to fool them. He's vacuumed up all his actual stuff and then put fake stuff back down. Fake blood. He's got the fake urine on his leg. Maybe he's a spy. Beautiful piece of equipment there, Jerome. Have I ever told you that? Only every time I'm in here. <laughs> like his wiener. I see a great many in the course of any given day. <laughs> Yours just happens to be an exceptional example. Wow. Jerome Morrow. So, you're about to go up. One week left. To space? She's very lovely. Congratulations, Jerome. Thank you. Mm-hmm. How many launches are there in a day? A dozen? Sometimes more. You're the only one who watches every one of them. If you're going to pretend like you don't care, don't look up. Does anyone want to watch Don't Look Up? Jerome Morrow, navigator first class, is about to embark on a one-year manned mission to Titan. Cool. 14th moon of Saturn. Yeah. He's blessed with all the gifts required for such an undertaking. A genetic quotient second to none. No, there is truly nothing remarkable about the progress of Jerome Morrow. Is that a body? Except that I am not Jerome Morrow. Uh-huh. It's pretending to be Jerome Morrow. Ooh, I got a little chill. Ten fingers, ten toes. That's all that you to matter. Not now. Now, only seconds old, the exact time and cause of my death was already known. What? Could you imagine? Manic depression, 42% probability. Attention deficit disorder, 89% probability. Oh, wow. Heart disorder, 99% probability. Early fatal potential. He's got heart problems. Life expectancy, 30.2 years. 30.2 years. He's gonna die when he's 30? The name for the certificate? Anton? No, Vincent Anton. That's a good name. We probably will test babies just like that in the future. Every skinned knee and runny nose was treated as if it were life-threatening. I'm sorry, the insurance won't cover it. If he fell... But I was told that everything was... I real. really wish there was something I could do. They won't let him go to school? Your extracted eggs uh, have been fertilized with Antonio's sperm. All that remains is to select the most compatible candidate. First, we, we may as well decide on gender. This is what's going to happen, probably. Hello, Vincent. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute. I've taken the liberty of eradicating any potentially prejudicial conditions. Uh, we were just wondering if it's good to just leave a few things to, to chance. Yeah. Believe me, we have enough imperfection built in already. A child doesn't need any additional burdens. Such so just like perfect children. Could conceive naturally a thousand times and never get such a result. That's how my brother, Anton, oh came into the world. Likes him better. Well, he's perfect in every way. How could you ever compete with like a perfect genetic baby? There's gotta be something that goes wrong with that though, you know? They're not gonna... Yeah, what happens if you mix? Our favorite game was chicken. It was about who would get scared and turn back first. Of course, it was always me. Anton was by far the stronger swimmer. Yeah, his body's stronger and in better shape, right? Maybe it was a love of the planets. Maybe it was just my growing dislike for this one. I have dreamed of going into space. How many astronauts are there anyway? I bet I could be one if I wanted. Yeah, he's perfect. My goals didn't change a lot in the intervening years. You have to be realistic. With a heart condition like yours. One chance in a hundred. The only way that you'll see the inside of a spaceship is if you were cleaning it. 
it. Yikes. My father was right. It didn't matter how much I lied on my resume. My real resume was in my cells. Yeah, wouldn't they just... Of course, it's illegal to discriminate. Genoism, it's called. But no one takes the law seriously. I mean, you're not going to send someone into space that isn't in, like, very good physical condition. No chance of a heart problem. You sure you want to do this? You know you're going to lose. I wonder who Jerome is, then. It was the last time we swam together. Something was very different about that day. Every time Anton tried to pull away, he found me right beside him. Keeping up. Till finally, the impossible happened. Richard! He stopped? What happened to him? It was the one moment in our lives that my brother was not as strong as he believed. Saved him. That goosebumps. The imperfect one saved the perfect one. Is he pissed about her? Sleep? Like many others in my situation, I was getting work where I could. I must have cleaned half the toilets in the state. Yeah, they're just doing like all the regular people just do. We now have discrimination down to a science. In a space? It's earnest. Come here. You have to start by cleaning this space right here. And then he makes a plan. When you clean the glass, Vincent, don't clean it too well. You might get ideas. Yeah, but if the glass is clean, it'll be easier for you to see me when I'm on the other side of it. <laughs> Someone once told me never be too good at a job you don't want to stay in. Yeah, how does he set this whole thing up? I mean, he's learning about all their security systems here, though. Imperfect human. <sighs> Celestial navigation. No matter how much I trained or how much I studied. Yeah, you'll never be good enough. Yeah, even if you're a genius, probably. The man who showed up at my doorstep didn't exactly advertise in the yellow pages. Stand straight. Okay, we're about to pull a situation here. How did you hear about me? People, you serious about this? I hope you're not wasting my time. I give 100%. That'll get you halfway there. Yeah, this is an endeavor. You realize the commitment is binding. You have right? somebody in mind? For the genetically superior, success is easier to attain, but it is by no means guaranteed. After all, there is no gene for fate. Facts. His credentials are impeccable. An expiration date you wouldn't believe. A death date? The guy's practically gonna live forever. He's got an IQ off the register and the oh. heart of an ox. He could run through a wall. So why isn't he an astronaut? Oh. Oh yeah, I mean accidents, right? He was a big time swimming star. Wow. You could go anywhere. This guy's helix tucked under your arm. And you look so right together, I wanna double my fee. Yeah, they do look kind of alike. Well, how do I explain the accident. It happened out of the country. There's no record he ever broke his back. Imagine being him. You're a foreigner. They don't care where you were born. Blood has no nationality. So began the process of becoming Jerome. Oh. Myopia is one of the most obvious signs of a disadvantaged birth. Yes, how do you fix it? Surgery's no good. You'll see the scars. It's contact lenses or a white cane. Just lenses? That's it? I've been really thinking about laser eye surgery. The color doesn't match. He's right. My eyes are prettier. He does have pretty eyes. You understand I take 25% of everything you make. I guess that's it. This is still a matter of the height. Why, how tall are you? Four foot six. No, but really. His profile says he's six one. So I can wear lifts. Even with lifts, you're not that tall. How do you fake that? I'm very short. I would love to know how you fake being taller. No, we never discussed that. Oh, I thought you were serious, Vincent. I am serious. I'm not doing that. I won't do that. Leg surgery. Rig. Wow. You all right? All right, well, I'm not willing to do that to be tall. You want to go dancing? You had to be a right-hander, huh? Yeah, they could probably relate to each other a little bit there. Jerome Morrow. Nice name. It's my name. I can't be you without it. What makes you think you can be me at all? That would be so hard for him. Look at it. I'm impressed. Is it real? Are you colorblind too, Vincent? It's silver. Not gold. Jerome Morrow was never meant to be one step down on the podium. With all I had going for me, I was still second best. I wonder why his goals were. Do they say swimmer? So how do you expect to pull this off? I don't know exactly. I wonder how many hours a day he spends fixing himself up and... You really want to be in there? I want to be up there. What's up there? That's what I want to find out, Jerome. Call me Eugene, my middle name. Yeah, he should go by Jerome now. If you're going to be Jerome, you better start getting used to it. Imagine doing a dozen launches a day. I gotta get going. Where's my sample? In the refrigerator. Which pouch? Oh, any of them. You think I should test it? If you like. <laughs> no. It's a hot sample. You've been drinking again. Oh, Christ, Eugene. It's eight o'clock. Yeah, what if this guy messes up? <laughs> This is no joke! This is, my interview is in an hour! Yeah, you can't have alcohol on his pee. Alright, I'm sorry. I had half a glass to celebrate. I'm sorry. But try Friday's. That one will be okay. He's probably super depressed. Wednesday. That's the one. 
Thank goodness. I mean, I guess we know he gets the job, but... It's not too late to back out. Yeah, if you can't handle this. They'll have to work together forever, right? You'll have to keep giving him samples. Well... Congratulations. What about the interview? That was it. That was it. Jeez. Nothing else matters. Just perfect genes. I got it. Of course you got it. What does he get out of it? Money? That's it? Each day I would dispose of as much loose skin, fingernails, and hair as possible. Yeah, we lose so much skin and hair and torch it. Do they live together? While Eugene supplied me with a new identity, I paid the rent and kept him in the style to which he'd become accustomed. Yeah, I see. He suffered under a different burden, the burden of perfection. I am most commonly known as a borrowed ladder. A borrowed ladder? Cool. Only one of the mission directors has ever Stuck. come close to discovering my true identity. Strange to think he may have more success exposing me in death than he ever did in life. <laughs> I thought for a second he was going to say that he killed him because he knew about him. Okay, I don't think he killed him. He risked exposing him more in death than in life. Uh oh, uh oh crap. And it's inevitable. <laughs> Is he killed with that? Well, Ew, I think we can rule out suicide. Oh. Thank you. Where do I know that guy from? I'm gonna discover that hair that was there on the ledge. Let's I want see. you to assist the investigators. Maybe she'll discover the truth about him. How will this affect the mission? Oh, we're still going ahead as planned. Tragic though this event may be, it hasn't stopped the planet's turning. She doesn't seem to care too much about any of this. I thought it was gonna be like beep, beep, beep. Intro to alert. What happened? I'm going up. End of the week. That's it. What about the mission director? Doesn't he have to take a bunch of samples with him to space, though? He's dead. Guess they probably won't test him while he's up there. They found him in his office this morning, beaten so badly they had to check his name tag. But who done it? You are serious. There's nothing between us and ignition. I'm going up. The man was murdered. The place is going to be crawling with hoovers. I'm going to be slightly out of their jurisdiction. That's true. He'll be in space by then. Dream accomplished. Probably won't even care what happens after that. I think Uma's going to find out who he is. Or that he's not who he says he is. I wonder who killed the director. How old? Me. A specimen. I kissed him five minutes ago. A real good one. You want the full sequence? Yes. Just the genetic testing lab? What is this lady testing? A potential husband? Potential baby daddy? I mean, I guess it wouldn't matter though, right? Would you still want him? put egg and sperm together. 9.3, quite a catch. Of two people that had really good genes, or could you just change the genes? Gataka. I am aware of the GTCA DNA thing. I can't believe you pulled this off. They're sending you up there. Up there, for Christ's sake, you of all people. They're just buddies in cahoots. But I hate to think of you alone in that room for a year. It's going up for a year? You know what I'm saying. What are you going to do? Oh, I didn't know it was a year. Seriously, what are you going to do? Go mad. I'm going to finish this. Just like his drink. What's Titan like this time of year? What's Titan like? Cold. Exactly like this. Smoky. All the time. It's got a cloud around it. It's so thick, nobody can tell what's underneath. Maybe there's nothing there. There's something there. I wonder if that would make the wine taste different. You should be going instead of me. Why is that? Because up there, your legs wouldn't matter. That's true. Yeah, you're weightless. I'm scared of heights. Yeah, there's no gene for fear, I don't think. Oh. Even though I think he was just saying that. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. I feel bad for him. Oh! Oh, what is he gonna do without this guy? You know, I wasn't drunk. What do you mean you're not drunk? When I walked in front of that car. What car? That's how he broke his back? I stepped right out in front of it. I'd never been more sober in my life. Was he trying to... Go to sleep. Couldn't even get that right, could I? Oh, boy. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Is he gonna try again while he's gone? He's drunk, but still, he's troubled. I'm proud of you, Vincent. You must be drunk to call me Vincent. Oh, is that just his bloody hair for a second? I thought it, that was his brain. Ugh. Ugh. They're gonna find this hair. Invalid! And with this picture, they're gonna think he's the murderer because he's an unknown guy in the building. Oh, frig. How much do you need? 20 minutes. Of just heartbeat sound? Yeah, they probably do test his heart. Oh boy. Strong heart. It's clarinet. You can go. Everyone's in such good shape. It's all right, Irene. You're excused. Yeah, how does he pull it off here? And the old switcheroo. We found our man. It's the only specimen in the entire place that can't be accounted. They think he's the murderer. The eyelash? What do you know about? He was a janitor here until a few years back when he disappeared out of sight. So the specimen could have been here since then. Yeah. Well, his profile does suggest a violent temperament. Really? Oh. I want you to check the entry log, alibis. The mission director was not uh, universally loved. Yeah, probably lots of motive in here. He was leading the cutbacks of the program. With all due respect, sir. I Whatever you say. This guy's taking orders from someone a lot younger than him, huh? The 
most perfect heartbeat. Jerome, Jerome, the metronome. You play the piano by that heartbeat of his. But what's his actual heart doing? Mr. the director. We have a suspect. Who is it? He has his picture. But they're gonna know who he is. His picture, yeah. And invalid. I guess we he has glasses. He looks a little eight. different. I don't know. <sighs> Who do you have to be to be here? Well, naturally, our standard is beyond... Perfect. Now there are enough of the right kind of people. The right kind of people. Bodies with minds to match. Essential. I don't like that guy. Is he okay? <gasps> that was close. Did they see it? He's The one dude saw it. Are you all right, Jerome? Terrific. He's probably, like, literally dying. <laughs> Yeah, that's hard to fake, man. This is the entry log for the last seven days. What about you, Irene? Do you have an alibi? Yeah, maybe she did it. I was alone. I find that hard to believe. Excuse me. A little eye roll there. Yeah, doesn't this guy recognize him? I'll take care of that for you, Mr. Morrow. Or does he know? Does it recognize him? I see I'm not the only one who looks up every time there's a launch. It's awful about the director. This music. It's eerie. Didn't the director threaten to cancel your mission more than once, Jerome? Somebody did you a favor. They found an eyelash in the south wing, just some invalid. Who looks an awful lot like him. I had you sequenced. Well, I guess I his hair's profile. different. I don't know. I'm sorry. Why? Seems you're everything they say you are and more. Oh, she's sorry for doubting him? What about you, Irene? You're engineered just like the rest of us. Not quite like the rest of you. Unacceptable likelihood of heart failure. Then why is she there? Well, if there's anything wrong with you, I can't see it from where I'm standing. If you don't believe me, here, take it. Have me sequenced the updated version of looking at the socials. If you're still interested, let me know. Good call. I'm interested. Sorry, the wind caught it. Doesn't care. So he's going to Titan. They don't know what is on Titan. Doesn't she recognize him? Is this the approach path that we discussed? Absolutely, Director. Quite right. I think maybe that guy did it. If they fall in love, I wonder if he'll tell her the truth. That was the company that sell us your hair dye. They've sent me summer wheat instead of honey dawn. She said, why don't you try a change? I don't want a change. We can't use a change. Yeah, everything's got to stay perfect. We can't stay here. They think I killed the mission director. What makes them think that? They found my eyelash. Where? In the corridor. By the murder. I can't turn around without seeing my own face. They'll recognize me. I don't recognize you. And he does look quite different. They won't believe that one of their elite could have suckered them all this time. That's probably true. You can't stay here. Stop Dude. that! I could have rented myself out to somebody with a spine. You can't quit on me now. I've put too much into this. Yeah, literally. They are going to find me. You still don't understand, do you? When they look at you, they don't see you anymore. They only see me. That's probably true. They just see the genes and tests that they're running. He seems to be passing. Keep your lashes on your lids where they belong. How could you be so careless? It's bound to happen. It's, he stopped for lack of caring or trying. Exfoliate those eyelashes, man. So much preparation. I'm going out. You know, I'm gonna get arrested tomorrow. I'm gonna go out tonight. You sure that's a good idea to go out? He's wearing his glasses. If I don't go, it'll look suspicious. You don't want to look suspicious, do you? Yeah, take your glasses off, dummy. Thanks. He's thinking that should be him going on the date. Ooh. I love piano. What are we doing here? What is this? I'm following the lead. He's an invalid, sir. Where do we look for invalids, but where invalids are? He's an invalid. Which is where? Prison? Does he have his own? Your navigator at Gattaca. That's what it says, doesn't it? It doesn't say you're crippled. I hurt my leg training, you moron. Oh, well, it's a good cover, I guess. How dare you question me? What's your number? Yeah, <laughs> what's your badge number? Just make him pissed off. What's your number? What's your number? Ooh, this piano. Woo. This is a crime scene. What's this man doing here? Yeah, Drew, he's just like wandering through. Uh, doing my job, sir. Idiot. Standing O. He has extra fingers for playing the piano. He's genetically engineered to play the piano. Oh my God. He didn't know? Wonderful, wasn't it? 12 fingers are one, it's how you play. That's true. That piece can only be played with 12. Yeah, I guess maybe music would change. Oh, look, What's die. all this about? Does he have enough blood? Don't sweat, man. Don't look suspicious. Swabbing. Does he have what he needs? Why would he take those out? Isn't he gonna be his old self now? 
Hey, you better not. Uh, I don't want to give you a contaminated specimen. He can't see a damn thing. That's like me without my glasses. It's music. Oh, no, he's way more blind than me. Uh-oh. Oh, then he has to run across the road? Frig off. She could have waited for him. What is he gonna do? I feel like he always has a plan, though. What's your plan here, man? I thought he might put on his glasses for a sec. You can't do it! He's sweating it. Come on, we'll miss it. What? What is it, like solar panels? What did I tell you? Beautiful sunrise. Strange. What? Your eyes look different. Yeah, they're a different color, right? I guess it must be the light. It must be. I think she's gonna figure it out. Although it might be like the other guy said, we see what we want to see, you know? Positive match. I'm impressed. The cup was definitely used since the original sweep. Two samples, two days. Oh crap, from the trash. I thought we checked all the service staff. I don't think he cleans up the place anymore. I have a feeling he might be there under false pretenses, playing somebody else's hand. Mm -hmm. Borrowed ladder at Gattaca. Yeah, they're gonna be like, that's impossible. Maybe he is an imposter, and maybe the director found out about it. That could be his motive. Yeah, from their perspective, yeah. I suggest blood from the vein. I hope I'm not out of line. Thinks he's faking it. How's he gonna fake this? They must have had to have a plan for this, for this sort of thing. He's probably got like a fake arm with blood underneath it. I, I, that's really hard to fake though. It's only a matter of time, sir. Only a matter of time. It is only a matter of time. This is so tense. <laughs> He's gonna swap the vials. Oh. Ow! Oh, God damn! Oh, you gotta practice some more? Nice. Nice! Okay. Okay. It's all right. Luckily, it looks as though we have enough. So. Well, if you need any more, you can always get it off his shoes. But hopefully they don't test that blood on his shoes. Tested immediately too, so. Irene? So you didn't do it after all? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I guess somebody beat me to it. Um. You'd like to see her again? I leave in two days. I, I guess you know that. Something's not right. I say we test again. Test. This guy knows. Right now, your presence is creating more of a threat. That guy did it. I think that guy did it. The window for our latest launch is open for seven days once every 70 oh. years. Seven days every 70 years. And your late colleague opposed it, didn't he? Take another look at my profile. You won't find a violent bone in my body. Yeah, but you. I'm sure he hired someone. He wouldn't actually kill him himself. Jazzy. This sounds clarinetty. Like an elbow? Saxophone? Show me what's playing this. I'm luckier than most. Not as lucky as some. She's got her hair down. I know something about that. You, Jerome? What heart problem did you ever have? Did you get yours broken once? Oh, they could actually bond if you told the truth. I had this crazy idea that you were more interested in the murder case than me. Well, you're right. That's a crazy idea. Oh, you. They have good chemistry. I know that they were married at one point. I wonder if they're married here or not. It's funny. You work so hard. You do everything you can to get away from the place. Right before you go, fall in love. And when you finally get your chance to leave, you find a reason to stay. A year is a long time. Not so long. Just once around the sun. Kiss her. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you. Ah. Please don't leave the premises. Oh, Frig. I said nobody leave. Am I speaking in some kind of With the glasses. Language? They're going to swab those glasses. Frig, 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 frig. Thought you wanted to dance. Excuse me, where are you going? Oh, yeah, I know. Is he gonna tell her the truth? She's, he's gonna have to explain this to her. He's gonna have to tell her the truth. This is closing in around him. Where did they go? It is hard to run in heels. If he tells her the truth, she'll think he's the murderer. Don't touch your face, don't swallow, don't spit. Swab this man. They know he was here, they know they're getting close. Vincent! Who's Vincent? Will you tell her? Right. This heartbeat. Don't say anything. She already knows. Oh, now they kiss up. Oh, the danger. Whoa, the shot. An upside down love scene. That's quite a view. Tell her everything. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, the smallest little thing is just gonna betray him, you know? He's got his cells all over that girl now. 
It's only a matter of time. What happened? Scars on your legs. Hey, you remember the 99 Chrysler LeBaron? He just lied to her. Tell her I the truth. I know you had something to do with the director's death. It's not true, Irene. She still slept with him anyway, even though she thinks he murdered him. Did you just figure it out? Is he looking at both faces? Is that the man from last night? He's nobody. I mean, he does a very good job of faking being in good shape. He's one of our best. Jerome Morrow. You don't look well, Jerome. Why don't you go home? Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. I'm looking for Jerome Morrow. I'm sorry, he's ill. A little nausea. It's quite common before mission. I ought to pay him a visit. I understand you can show me the way. I'm so tense. And who did actually murder this guy? Ocular. I know you were there. You don't know who he is, do you, Irene? Is he gonna go there and this guy's gonna answer the door and pretend to be him, pretend to be himself? Eugene, I need you to be yourself for the day. The investigators are coming by. I'm supposed to be sick. How long have I got? Not long. Go. I'm sure they have a plan for this, yeah. Does so he have to go upstairs? Oh, frick. Uh, uh, um. Hurry, dude, hurry. Oh, frick. Is he just going up to get in bed? Oh my god, hurry. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. I guess he's not home. Hello? Uh, hello? I guess he's home. Uh, hurry. Hopefully they don't want him to get up. Come in. Hello, sweetheart. Where's my kiss? She's slowly figuring it out. Good to see you're feeling better. She's lying for him. I mean, she does care about him. Not this guy, the other guy. Who's your friend? It's about the director. Again? Couldn't we do this another time? Well, this won't take a moment. She probably doesn't know yet quite, like if he's Jerome, she's trying to cover for him maybe, but she's gonna figure it out. Who are you expecting? Is he gonna see the wheelchair? This music. Yes. We have our man, sir. You have him? We have him in custody. They have him in custody. How are you, Jerome? Not bad, Jerome. How the hell did you get up here? Oh, I can always walk. I've been faking it. I think she's mostly just hurt that he lied. And maybe she still suspects that he had something to do with the murder. Irene. I mean, if he would fake all Irene, of this, wouldn't he murder someone to go to space? Maybe. Oh, my name is Vincent, and I'm a faith birth or a degenerate, whatever you want to call it. But I am not a murderer. She believe him? You're a god child. But we do have one thing in common. Only I don't have 20 or 30 years left in mine. Mine is already 10,000 beats overdue. He just wants to go to space, Irene. For whatever it's worth, I'm here to tell you that it is possible. Yeah, she probably had another idea about faith babies or whatever. She never thought she would fall for one. Okay, he said we have him in custody? Who who do they have? Uh, I knew it. Congratulations, sir. His spit was found in the dead director's eye. Mm. So the invalid had nothing to do with this? No. So I imagine you'll be celebrating tonight, sir. Of course. He still feels off about the other two guys, though. What was he like? He was a cop. He was just a cop. Did you catch his name? I have to meet him. Yeah, he's got this idea in his head. He's like obsessed with it. He has to meet him. Will he tell him the truth? Vincent? I mean, he's not a murderer. What's this guy gonna care? My God, you have changed. Has it been so long you don't recognize your own brother? That's his brother? Our parents both died thinking they'd outlived you. Oh. What are you doing here, Anton? I should ask you that question. I have a right to be here. You don't. I didn't see that coming. I committed no murder. You must be disappointed. You've committed fraud. You've gone as far as you can go. You come with me now. Let him go to space. I don't need any rescuing, but you did once. How do you explain that? You didn't beat me that day. I beat myself. Who are you trying to convince? It's not important, Anton. Are they about to go do a swim race? Do you want me to prove it to you? I'll prove it to you. I do. Yeah, they're about to go swimming. Boys, bigger stakes here, fellas. Because this seems dangerous. Did he beat him? Where's the shore? We're too far out. You wanna quit? We're too far out! You wanna quit? Are they both just gonna die out here? Just to what? Prove a point? They can't even see the shore anymore? How are you doing this, Vincent? We have to go back. You wanna know how I did it? Yeah. I never saved anything for the swim back. This music. They gonna let him go? <sighs> Again. Is he gonna make it to space? You couldn't see, could you, that night crossing the street? No, and he went anyway. You crossed anyway. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, he's brave and he's given it all for this goal. If you're still interested, let me know. Doesn't care. Sorry, the wind caught it. Mm. What is this? Is this his house? I thought he was dead. I thought he was going to be dead. You're flying today, aren't you? I have your samples ready. I don't need any samples where I'm going. You might when you get back. Everything you need to last you two lifetimes. So Jerome will always be here when you need him. Is he gonna... I'm traveling too. I don't know how to thank you. I only lent you my body. You lent me your dream. Not until you're upstairs. What? What is it? Is that... Is he going to... I don't know if this is actually going to happen. If he's actually going to go to space. What is this? New policy. Like got you nervous? I never did tell you about my son, did I? He's a big fan of yours. Did he not bring anything to test today? He wants to apply here. Unfortunately, my son's not all that they promised. He's got a son that's like him? But then who knows what he could do, right? Is he gonna fake this test for him? Because he's got a son like him? For future reference, right-handed men don't hold it with their left. Did he know all along? And he looked the other way. Now get on up to space. You don't miss your flight, Vincent. Yes, you're in, guy. Do it for all of us regular folks. He's not jumping into the fire thing, is he? He is, he is, he is. <sighs> Jeez. music they say every atom in our bodies was once part of a star maybe i'm not leaving maybe i'm going home wow the end okay guys that was gattaca and that was so good i liked it a lot it's very tense all the way through even though you know i wouldn't it's not like an action type movie it's a it's it's a thinker it's a thinker of a movie it's philosophical but it was very tense all the way through because you just don't know if he's gonna get caught or not you assume at some point it's all gonna close in on him and he'll get caught so it was cool to see such a thoughtful philosophical kind of movie have that kind of tension the music was really tense too lots of like heartbeats and simmering strings i feel like i want to think about it it is philosophical i mean it's making me think about the future i think there are certain things that it would be great if we could eradicate, cancel out cancer in everybody. You know what I mean? Like there are certain things where you could see where it would be a good idea to be able to manipulate genes, but at the same time, you don't want to mess with it too much. And I do think that's problematic. And it would eventually lead to a society just like this. Genetically superior people, I guess, do sort of rise above natural flawed humans. And flawed, I mean, that that's what it is. I mean, we're all flawed, all of us. You could never take out every flaw. And that you could argue is one of the things that makes us human it's like in our flaws you know i mean if you changed everybody to be absolutely perfect in every way wouldn't we all be the same then wouldn't all humans just be carbon copies of each other man yeah this one this one was philosophical i want to think about it i want to do some reading about it let me know what you guys think about this one i'd be interested to hear some some thoughts from you guys really cool to see the process they went about fooling the system i, I like that very uh melancholy ending though you know you have the flawed guy achieving his dream i don't know if he's a hundred percent happy though and you have the perfect guy ending it all and i guess it just proves even if you tweak everything to be perfect genetically that doesn't mean you're going to be happy or doesn't mean accidents won't happen doesn't mean that your life will be perfect that's the nature of life truly is is you can't predict it i'm really curious what happens in this story now i wish that we knew when he gets back from space in a year what happens after that kind of wish there was a gattaca too i enjoyed this one a lot let me know if there are any other philosophical sci-fis like this thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it i had a great time i hope you had a great time too and i will see you next time bye guys